Welcome all my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac. This is your angel's oracle message of inspiration for today, May the 2nd, 2020. In the wake of what our lives are going through, all of us and the way our planet is showing us signs that we need to pay attention to. We need to feel every day we have hope and faith and we can be inspired to be positive to move forward in a brand new beautiful direction. We are going to come out of this and it will be a brand new world. One I hope that will impart more patience, tolerance and compassion for all mankind and for Mother Earth and the creatures who dwell within us. So starting off today with our very first card, this is the sacred power, Tarot. And you have intuition. Beautiful card of intuition. <clears throat> And you know what? This is you looking beyond the surface. We all need to look beyond the surface and listen carefully to our inner voice. I love the depiction of this card. It shows the third eye and it's located in the center of your forehead between your eyebrows. Understanding your needs can be difficult if you spend too much time listening to others and not listening to yourself. And that's what we're all doing right now. We're tapping into our silence of being isolated, of being on our own, of being able to just be responsible for ourselves and what we need to see and hear. The third eye forms a bridge between your mind, body and your spirit. Everyone has the potential to utilize the power of their third eye. So awakening and strengthening the third eye increases clarity, intuition and concentration. Intuition can be strengthened by listening to your feelings and your body's messages. When your body is trying to tell you something, listen. What is your body trying to tell you? What are your first impressions, thoughts and feelings about a particular situation you may be dealing with at that moment? Listening to your base instincts builds a relationship of trust with your personal intuition, senses and higher self. Listening to trust your inner feelings will give you a greater source of confidence in future directions and making decisions. If it doesn't feel right, don't do it. We've all heard this, haven't we? So right now, we must acknowledge our inner knowing. While we may have lacked confidence in trusting our natural gut instincts in the past, now is the perfect time to clear away any doubts. We need to acknowledge our gifts that we were given at birth and we can access them at any time through meditation and developed practice. Our third eye is open and we need to pay attention to visions, thoughts and impressions of those around us. Strengthening our third eye will help us look deeper into a situation. By learning to trust our gut instinct, we can attune into our body's senses. Spiritual realization is a focus now. There is no need to compare ourselves to others. We need to see this as confirmation to our unique gifts, which can be used with passion and purpose. We need to listen to our senses so we can approach circumstances and people with caution, enhancing our personal power. We need to clear and balance our energies regularly to maintain accurate vision. And we all know what it is to tap into that inner voice, to listen to that little inner voice that sits, you know, right there on our shoulder. And we need to listen to it because it allows us to see with more clarity when we trust it. So today our affirmation should be, I am able to see clearly and accurately through divine assistance. Beautiful, beautiful message today of what we need to tap into being able to see the whole picture. Are you dealing with a situation today that maybe you know you're jumping to conclusions and you're making uh, assumptions about? Are you over analyzing something? Instead of sitting back, taking a deep breath and saying, okay, spirit, what can you show me? Where can you guide me? How can I open up to see this situation in pure clarity? And that is trusting your intuition and opening your third eye. Now your second card is from Talking to Heaven 
And this card that you got today is, although you may not understand it now, everything happens for a reason. Wow, how many times have we been told that, right? There is a divine order behind everything that happens, including the timing of someone that has to pass on to the other side. And at this time in our life, dealing with what we're dealing with, there's so many people that this is suddenly happening to. They didn't expect it and, and it happened, okay? But there was a reason and it's difficult for us to understand that reason. And it says, you know, I realize that you weren't ready to let me go. And in many ways, I wasn't ready either. Since my passing, I've received spiritual counseling to help me see the big picture of my life and death. This is someone that, you know, if we've lost someone, whether it's been through this situation that we're living in now or in the past, this is a beautiful message of them stepping forward uh, today to give us this message that we perhaps have needed to think about. We've been thinking about them an awful lot and this is tapping into that portal of them being able to step forward and speak to us through spirit. I under now understand that I had to leave the way I did. It was part of my soul contract and it will be yours as well. I now see that everything in this universe is mathematically precise. There are no accidents. At some level, your soul knew that it, I would leave before you did. We've both been preparing for this transition since the beginning of our relationship. I am grateful for all the beautiful moments we shared together, along with the lessons I learned from the difficult times. It's all divinely perfect. So this particular message, talking to heaven, this particular deck, uh, talks about spirit stepping forward uh, and leaving us these beautiful messages that we need to hear on a daily basis. And it's amazing how today's message was all about divine timing and that I do believe we're all born to innately die. and We're all walking each other home. Some of us go faster and sooner and more unexpected than others. And there's room and a space opens up for us to travel through to the next dimension. And when that happens, we go. We need to take it. So today's message is spirit that's passed over any of your ancestors and loved ones. You've been thinking about them. Know that they're safe, that they love you, that they have come to complete understanding that what's happened happened because it was divinely orchestrated. It was divine timing. Okay. And that everything happens for a reason. As difficult as it is, we all know that. That the people we meet, the people we lose, the situations we're involved in, the transformation we make, the transitions that happen, happen for a reason. So, Intuitively, you know this because you've been given this beautiful card, Intuition. And I had spoken to you about dealing with a situation, overanalyzing it, processing it, you know, maybe asking why. Now you're being given this beautiful message next to it, which was randomly shuffled out of my deck. As I always ask Spirit to give me the messages every time I do a reading, you get these two together. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Now, <clears throat> your final card from the angel reading deck is Angel of Truth. Following your intuition and truth will appear. Again, look at that word that came up today, intuition. How ironic, again, this came into play. So this is all about today trusting your inner intuition. Trusting yourself, the moves that you're making, you're going in the right direction as long as you're open to see the whole picture, okay? And knowing that things are happening divinely orchestrated for a reason. You have received this message because your angel of truth has heard your questions and doubts about a current situation. At certain times in your life, 
You may experience challenging situations where your belief in the truth is questioned. You may be questioning the truth about a current relationship, family issue, or an issue at work, or maybe the passing of a beautiful loved one. Your angel of truth is letting you know that the questions and suspicions that you had had about a certain situation in your life are correct. Again, trusting your intuition. Your angel of truth will assist and guide you in the right direction to uncover the truth. Pay attention to your dreams, gut feelings, and any repetitive messages or symbols you are shown that you can connect to in this particular issue and situation. These messages are part of your spiritual GPS system, guiding you to receive the answers you're looking for. Sometimes the answers you uncover can be challenging and even upsetting. Sometimes the messages you receive are not what you want to know. However, they are what you need to know. Always be mindful that the information you have been given is meant for your highest good and to put you on the best path possible. Your angel of truth has your best intentions at heart and wants you to be fully informed before you make any decisions concerning your life. When you feel compelled to uncover the truth behind something, it is because your angel of truth wants to guide you on the path that is best for you and for your spiritual growth. Today our affirmation should be, I know in my heart that I am being provided with the correct information from my angel of truth, my guides, my divine source. I understand and believe that they are guiding me on the correct path for my spiritual growth. So follow your intuition and the truth will appear. So again, all of this energy, all of this beautiful inspiration that's being brought in today has to do with all of us tapping into our intuition, all of us trusting it, relying on it, knowing that everything happens for a reason, okay? And that we are being guided, being guided to follow our truth and tap into that beautiful message today well my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac listen to the Canadian geese going by my window okay I hope you can hear it uh, because I live on a lake uh, the geese are everywhere out here <clears throat> and they fly overhead all the time and you know they're very vocal uh, it's quite amazing I loved love love to hear them go by my window and I hope that you were able to to hear that as well so I have something different today I want to talk to you about and that is abundance <clears throat> if you could wish for anything at all what would it be what would you love to be and have and do relax for a moment and bring your awareness to your heart center and imagine your perfect life in fine detail. Take your time and breathe. Explore. Know that all is possible within the world of spirit. Allow your heartfelt yearnings and imaginings to flow forth from the center of your soul. As you visualize your perfect life, imagine you are planting seeds of your future and that your wish is on its way to becoming true. Keep the vision alive in your heart. Nurture it until it manifests into your physical reality and imagine you are surrounded by positive love and light. Well, my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac, again, never forget how far you've come. Everything you've gotten through, although the times you have pushed on all those times you have pushed on, even when you felt you couldn't, all the mornings you got out of bed, no matter how hard it was, all the times you wanted to give up, but you got through another day. Never forget how much strength you have learned throughout all of this. Throughout all of these challenges, how strong you've become. And always remember this. The universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it. 
and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. See you soon. My blessings and prayers for continued good health. Please play safe. Be safe. Have a wonderful, beautiful day.